Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelorette Recap, a guy's review. Tonight is Katie Thurston's week seven of her quest for love. We'll be checking that out, recap coming tomorrow. But first we have some Bachelor Nation breaking news about Victoria Larson. And uh, just a little update about myself. No, I didn't lose my house to a foreclosure. I am on vacation. The studio still exists. We have a nice place in California, but we are international, baby. That's right, Belize. I'm in a rainforest. You're right. I'm in a rainforest. And I'm doing this video for you, which means hit that like button and subscribe. It's called dedication, folks. Google it, all right? So anyway, let's talk about Victoria Larson here. And I don't want to make this video to make fun of her. I'm not. I'm giving her a solid second shot for Bachelor in Paradise. Solid second shot. Picture in picture, though, we are discussing her um, Miss... Florida USA event that happened last night in um, in Florida, a big Miss Florida USA event. Now, how it works is you compete regionally, Miss Tampa Bay, Miss uh, Laughlin, Nevada. You know what I mean? You, you compete in a very niche market, and then when you win that, then you compete you know, in the state market, Miss Florida, and then you compete in Miss USA, and then if you win that, you compete for Miss Universe. It's a whole thing. It's archaic. I don't know why anyone wants to do it. I'm all about positivity with women, but this seems like a competition for looks. I mean, they don't even have a talent. They don't even, Miss USA doesn't do a talent. The talent is, will your veneers stay on before your your um, push-up bra falls out? You know what I mean? It's like one, they're just primping each other up. And again, I'm all for it. I just don't get it. It's not my gender. I don't know what you guys are doing over there, but it seems to me to be a battle of superficiality. Again, maybe you make some friends, maybe. But the deal is, in the past, you know, I was talking to my fiance about this. It's so strange that she's doing this competition because usually you do a competition or whatever and then you do The Bachelor and then whatever, you know, Dancing with the Stars, whatever the circuit might be. But in her case, this is actually at least her third time competing to make it in the Miss USA pageant, which, hey, credit where it's due for not quitting. She has tried it for California. I will show you the video of that. And this is her second time, as far as I know, in the Miss Florida. She also did it in 2017. So anyway, the uh, pageant was yesterday. I guess they do, I'm assuming they do evening wear um, and then the bathing suit look. And I don't know. I don't even think, do they even say a statement? Do they say what they're for? You know, I mean, maybe she's an, you know, an anti-bully advocate. She's like, please do not do what I did on national TV and slut shame all of America. Please don't do that. I don't know. But um, I do, I do love her look. I really hope that she sort of realized what was she, what she was becoming, saw herself on TV, and maybe changed. The reality might be that she's a little cuckoo, and we, and, and she, you know, there's the truth is somewhere in between. You know what? Embrace your inner cuckoo. Embrace your Victoria Larson out there. So anyway, she's competing, and um, you know, she's got all of her pageant photos. She goes back and forth. Let's uh, let's get to the winner, right? So, oh, is this a theme? Ahoy, matey. Miss Fort Lauderdale is the yacht capital of the world, and my favorite pastime is boating with my friends, so no better costume to represent than a captain. All right, so she went from queen to captain. Next thing you know, she'll be uh, first mate. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it's a cute outfit. You just the thing with Victoria, like you can you you can't always tell when she's joking or not. Now I I showed this video, uh, I'm sorry, this Instagram uh, in a in a video earlier this week, and I'm all about it. I'm all about your glow up and you know saying hey she did she did the Bachelor with a swole she had pink eye she had all these different things now. She would have been the hero of The Bachelor if she wasn't such a bully to others. I mean, it's true. Everyone would have been like, we love the pink-eyed lady. You know, she's there and she's a hot mess. Her, yeah, sure, her bra tag's showing. Who cares? But instead, people were like, yo, F you, because of the way that she was perceived to have treated people. Now, I'm the first person out there to say, look, they over-edit things. Who knows how they actually come across? Hopefully, in Bachelor in Paradise, we can see a better side of her. So anyway, drum roll please, the announcement, the winner of Miss Florida USA 2021 is Ashley Carino. I think it's pronounced Carino in Coral Springs, Florida. Miss Florida USA breaking news, 2021 results. So how did Victoria do? Well, this is their 70th year doing this. So they've done it since 1951. That's called math, folks. Public school, Rhode Island. 
So they did it at the Coral Springs Center for the Arts in Coral Springs, Florida. Boy, you know what I mean? This is a missed opportunity because I didn't see anything in my Gmail to announce or co-host this event. But, I mean, let's be real. Would I not have knocked it out of the park if I had the chance to announce Miss Florida USA at the Coral Springs Center for the Arts? Um, candidates, top 17. So Victoria was, let me just go down here, not in the top 17. So out of 70 people, we just know she wasn't top 17. So maybe they don't rank them after the top 17, but either way, Unfortunately, the road ends here for you in your uh, hopes to be Miss Florida USA 2021. Now, a lot of people don't realize this. Miss USA is separate from Miss America. Now, I could be wrong. I'm going to talk about this without having Googled this. I believe Donald Trump owned the Miss USA. And the difference between Miss USA and Miss America is Miss America actually had a talent. You know, you'd sing a song or juggle or tell us that, you know, what, you know, what the difference between racial inequality in South Carolina or whatever whatever they did, you know what I mean? They were all over the place. Now, I'll tell you this, not to humble brag, I know one former Miss America and two former Miss USAs, one of which became Miss um, uh, Universe, and that's when they stopped responding to you. You stop, if your friends let you go when they become Miss Universe, I'm kidding, She's, uh, they're, all, they're all good people, folks, they're all good. The point is, is you, see, you, see, you see this circuit for what it is. It's just a racket, you do this, you do that. So anyway, check this out. You know, you know, I'm over here, come on, I'm hanging out. I had a couple beers for dinner, Tasha had a tequila lobster. We had a we had a good day. We were doing okay, right? And I'm just I'm just minding my own business, and I can't help but just do a deep dive on on this. Four years ago in Florida, Miss. Or I'm sorry. You know what? Hold on. Let's hold on. Let me jump right into that in a second. Hold on. I apologize. So this is actually this is the winner of this year's Miss Florida. She was Miss South Kissimmee. Am I pronouncing that right? What a great town, Kissimmee. Boy, put that in your Tinder profile. Everyone's like, I sure will. Meeting you both was absolutely incredible. Your kindness, beauty, and incredible confidence shines wherever you go. The true meaning of queens. And, of course, this was meeting the previous year's Miss Teen Florida and Miss Florida USA. So uh, both of them there. It looks like uh, Miss Teen Florida USA uh, got dressed in a picnic blanket. Is that what that is? Are you going to? Okay. All right, moving along, folks. So anyway, that's where they are. She just won this hours ago, and I don't think we have uh, there are words explained. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, no, look at that. So this this lady who won Miss Florida USA only has nine hundred. I'll give her a follow. Nine hundred and seventeen followers. Isn't that insane? Studying aerospace engineering. I mean, look. I'm not saying that the competition, it, that, that valuable people for society aren't doing the competition. I'm not saying that whatsoever. I just think it's very dated that we're like primping people out there like they're in some sort of like stockyard and we're bidding on them to be like, who's got the you know straightest teeth or whatever. Um, uh, but anyway, she's the Miss Florida USA delegate. She was nominated and uh, boy, really, she came up. You know, talk about a glow up. Miss South Kissimmee. Next thing you know, she's Miss Florida USA. Let's see what she's got going on in her stories here. So walking into finals, this was eight hours ago. So this was right before she um, won the whole thing. And then let's see if we got another one. We don't quite, so we don't quite have her winning. We don't have any, any, any evidence of her winning other than it's been reported. It's her, I guess, I guess on a Sunday in the summer, I'm the only person uh, covering this type of stuff, but it felt it felt newsworthy to me. So this is them doing the whole TikTok thing where they go like, start it from here. They do the jump and oh look, I mean you know amazing transition. Some you know editors crying in his cubicle right now. So anyway, that was okay. That so then that I stumbled. I was looking at former Miss Floridas to see if Victoria had ever participated. We'll get to that in a second. But I stumbled upon this dethroned Miss Florida USA maintains innocence. Let's just watch Miss this for a second. Miss USA winner who was stripped of her crown is now fighting back. She is filing a $15 million lawsuit against the pageant. Local 10 News reporter Carlos Suarez heard from her and her lawyers today. He joins us live with more on this crown fight. Crown fight. Lori and Victor, the 21 page lawsuit describes how the pageant organizer, according to the attorney, first took exception to the fact that the winner was from Puerto Rico, apparently telling her that that meant she wasn't a U.S. citizen. And the suit goes on to detail two other allegations being made by the pageant organizer, which the attorney calls nonsense. 
I have faced many challenges in my life, but nothing like this. Proving that the beauty pageant world can get ugly, attorneys for Hennessy's Davila painted pageant organizers as hell-bent on removing her crown in order to satisfy a pageant sponsor. My client has done absolutely nothing wrong. She was unjustly stripped of her crown. Stripped. And it is our job to get it back for her. They dismissed the allegations of cheating and said money drove the pageant's executive producer, Grant Gravitt Jr., to strip Davila of her Miss Florida crown last month. I was just. All right. I don't know how this works, so I'm not going to I'm not going to jump in on this. But if she wasn't born in Florida, it makes you wonder, should she be allowed to compete there? Now, we know Victoria Larson competed in Florida and California. OK, so I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure um, if, she, you know, but I Googled it as you do. And it says Davila, Davila later filed a lawsuit against the owners of the Miss Florida USA pageant for $15 million, seeking damages for defamation and restoration of her crown. The lawsuit, the lawsuit was later dismissed in October with its terms confidential. I'm not sure who the attorney was, but may it have been Brian Friedman? Powerful attorney, maybe. I don't know. Either way, uh, cutthroat. I mean, I know there's been some movies. There was a great Netflix show recently about the pageant life of like young, the young adult pageant life. There's just amazing. If anyone has any stories of their own pageant, I've heard of girls putting pepper spray. Have you ever heard this, Tasha? In pageants, they'll put like pepper spray and other girls like makeup products. <laughs> They're ruthless back there. Anything to win. So anyway, um, this, this is like, look, I don't know. I don't know what the rule stated, but Puerto Rico technically isn't a state of the United States of America, but it should be. It has all of the qualifications other than the fact I think a lot of, you know, ignorant people are like, we already got 50 states. If we have 51, where are we going to put the star? You know what I mean? It's like, l let's make Puerto Rico a state, right? We already give them, you know, they're, they're part of our country. It's ridiculous. And the fact that we still haven't helped them, you know, to a full extent after the hurricane ravaged them. And it's like, are they, are they not, uh, you know, humans, you know, and also, I mean, they can vote in certain elections. I don't know. It, the whole thing, the whole thing's messed up. Make a mistake, give them voting rights and all that jazz. You know what? Just here I am in Belize fighting for the American. You know, if I had the button that could cue the, uh, the national anthem, I would, but I don't have it. I don't have it with me. So I'm, I'm, my hands are tied up for a couple days here. So anyway. This is 2017, Victoria Larson. Let's see, Miss Florida USA 2017. So technically this is five years ago. I guess Miss, 27, Miss Florida USA 2017, they did it a year. Or, uh, that's kind of confusing. I don't know how that works. The point is, is um, she was on the list for Bal Harbor. Victoria Larson for Bal Harbor. We're assuming it's the same Victoria Larson. Hey, my apologies if it's not, but I think it's the same. That was in 2017. Now, this was two years ago. This is Victoria Larson competing for Miss California USA. Doesn't it make you feel like it's some weird Scientology video? Let's just watch this one more time. I'm not blaming her. It's just like it's shot really well, but there's no one in the audience and she's just like staring and smiling. It's a nice dress. All right, look, and again, we're, we're not here. We're not here to shame anybody, folks. It's just, you know, there's there's a lot going on. So that, that you know, and then, and then you know, and then one photo, she's like the catch me if you can guy. And then in one photo, she's working as like a stewardess in a private. And I was like, look, I've had a million jobs. Um, she's made it farther than I have in beauty pageants. So I'm not here to knock her. I am not here to knock Victoria Larson. In fact, I'm here to promote her. August 16th, 2021, she will be on. Is she on the original cast? Yeah, I believe she's in the original cast, right? Yeah, of... Um, of uh, the Bachelor, the original cast meeting, the people, more people will come and go throughout the season. But you know, I hope she has a little bit of a redemp redemption arc. I really do. I don't, I don't, um, I don't want to see anybody fail in this world. Uh, but it, it, but there is something like when you say like a screw is loose. I don't mean that in in, in like making fun of somebody's problems, but like. I just don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm sure there'll be more content of hers coming out from, let's see, let's see if anything was posted here. Yeah, nothing's been, po it's, it's just shocking that, that we haven't had more 
uh, anything else posted. I will show you real quick though, her, um, this is, uh, let's go over here to the picture in picture. This is um, her, from her stories. So she was at an after party. So this is getting ready. Let's just let's just barrel through the getting ready photos. I think she looks great too. I think she looks great. I mean, she, you know, she said she hasn't had she hasn't had much work done. She's you know she's got a lot of you know, you know, blastings and polishings, and there she is. So she's she's all dolled up, ready to go. Uh, you know, but I mean, the winner gets like ten grand. It's not much money. So let's see. There she is. Time for a drink. Uh, that must have been after the pageant. So. Let's see what we have. I think there's a nighttime club. All right, so this is uh, at, at the club, and then she's got a little bit of like a face tattoo there. I don't, I don't want to insult the Hindi, the Hindu religion. I don't know. Is this? I don't know what kind of, uh, you know, cultural appropriation this is. Uh, you know what, Vicky? It's the least of the things going on with you right now. <laughs> there's so much going on. Queen of the bar says somebody. Um, but anyway, we, uh, it, you know, it, it has been fun following her. I do look forward to see what she's doing next. I'm, I'm actually surprised she's only got 64,000 followers. I thought she would have had a lot more than that, having having uh, gone through all that she has gone through this year. But um, anyway, um, uh, ships a sailing to you. Uh, I hope you have a... Uh, Boy, hard to walk around a boat in those shoes, though, isn't it? Anyway, folks, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Um, recap will be up first thing Tuesday morning and tons of other random comment content we're going to be providing you uh, while I am out of the country. So, again, thank you so much for all the love, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye now.